Question number 67, we have a bar magnet with a north and south pole close to a current carrying loop. Now, we're trying to figure out uh, what the uh, magnetic force, if any, on the current loop due to the magnetic field caused by this bar magnet. Couple things. First, the reason I've drawn it this way is to better be able to see which direction the current is flowing. So basically what I've done is I've drawn a cross section of the loop and I've drawn that the current is going into the board up here and out of the board right here. So this current is going in the loop in circles like this. In order to figure out the direction of the magnetic force on this current carrying loop, if any, we need to remember the magnetic field caused by a bar magnet, is going, or any magnet at all, is going to go from north to south and is going to be loops. Let's draw that magnetic field now. So here's my drawing of the magnetic field lines. Remember, I'm an incredible artist. That's why it looks so good. Uh, so the loops go like this. Notice that this loop right here actually would go in a giant loop that looked like this, and this one would go in, in a gianter loop even bigger down here. Yes, gianter. Uh, and I haven't drawn because I want this space here, and I didn't draw them up here because I don't want to draw on the wall. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the magnetic force on just this very top of the current carrying loop, and then we'll talk about the rest of it. But we're going to just start, I'm going to redraw this specific location, and we'll talk about that. I've redrawn just the cross section of the current carrying loop. You can see the current is going in a loop like this, and I've drawn this cross section right here. And we're gonna talk about just this top point where the current is going into the board, and this magnetic field right here is located up at an angle like this. You can see that it's up at an angle right there. And we now need to use the right hand rule in order to figure out the direction of the magnetic force. So please, limber up, limber up. <laughs> Yeah. Find your right hand. Right, right hand. hand. Oh, right. right hand. Here we go. Taking the fingers of our right hand, pointing them in the direction of the current flow, which is into the board at this point. Curling them in the direction of the magnetic field, our thumb points in this direction, which is the direction of the magnetic force, which unfortunately is directly through the eye that I drew on the board. So the magnetic force at the very top of the loop is mostly up and a little bit to your right. Now let's look at the very bottom location. The magnetic field at the very bottom of the wire is down and to your left. You can see that right here, down and to your left. Therefore, we take the fingers of our right hand, point them in the direction of the current, curl our fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, and our thumb points in the direction of the magnetic force, which is going to be down and to your right. So what you can see here is that the components of the magnetic forces in what I'm going to call the out direction cancel out. However, there is a net magnetic force to the right or toward the magnet. And this is true at every point on the loop that the magnetic forces which are out cancel out. However, there is always a net magnetic force to the right or toward the magnet. The correct answer is A, toward the magnet.